Good morning. Uh, this is going to be a quick Overwatch roster uh, tutorial. So you will get access right here to this screen right away, uh, followed with the instructions. And I'm just going to go ahead and demonstrate the instructions. You will find a template down here at the bottom. Uh, all you need to do is go ahead and right click and duplicate. And then right click and rename this to whatever your school is. I'm just going to go ahead and name this one sample. Um, you need to fill in the advisor name, email, phone number, athletic director, and all that stuff there as well. When you're filling out for your students, uh, first name, last name, and then gamer tag, it is really important for Overwatch that you include these digits after the pound sign here because this is how we're going to invite people to a custom lobby. And the way where you can find that is if you look here on the main screen for Overwatch, your students can hover over their name up here on the top right. You can see mine says Dolly R. Noob, um, pound sign 1886. So you're gonna have to go ahead and enter that. Once you have these all completed um, for your students, um, so all of your varsity and if, if you have JV, what you do then is go onto the instructions tab here, scroll down to the S's, type in your school name, right click on it, insert link. We're gonna go ahead and find one inside of this spreadsheet. So uh, my example here is not looking the best, but um, scroll down, find sample here, go ahead and click apply. Now that we clicked off, this just makes it so it's a nice splash page, like a, um, like a directory. So that way, if, if, you're, if you're looking up another school, all you have to do is go here to sample, click the school name, and it'll take you right to their roster. You can figure out who their captain is in order to go ahead and invite them to the lobby. Um, you can then do your scouting here as well. And it's gonna be really important for scouting purposes that all of your students, and this, uh, this again is gonna be extremely beneficial if they're looking to go on and play at the collegiate level. They will have to make their profiles public. So if you go to options, social, and then here, career profile visibility. If you turn this over to public, this allows then other teams to be able to look up your students on a variety of scouting tools to say like, oh, I can see that they commonly play Bastion on this control map. So we're gonna wanna figure out how we can play around that. Um, collegiate esports coaches are going to be able to look up their profile then and actually see how much they've grown season to season. What, um, you know, if they play DPS or off tank or uh, support um, and be able to then really hone in on those students and, and identify the ones that they're looking to recruit. So um, turning it on public, we can't make it a requirement. Um, but again, for scouting purposes, it's, it's important if you want to be competitive and um, have everybody on the same page. These being public is really important. If they wanna go on to the collegiate level, having it public is really important so that college coaches can actually track and monitor um, student growth over the season. So that's it for the uh, Overwatch. And I will be getting back to the other ones here in just a minute. 